Hi everyone, we're here at John Satter's Auto Repair today, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, power stop, extreme performance, slotted and drilled rotors. I've used several sets now on a Toyota 4Runner and on several other vehicles, and they all work really good, and they have um, zero to one thousandths on the dial indicator on the lateral runout of the rotor. I did a 2002 Ford, as you can see here, it's a Super Crew F-150 4x4, and I set up a dial indicator on here, and what's happened is the original rotors I put on had five thousandths run out. And then I called the manufacturer where I bought the rotors, and according to the specifications from the, from the manufacturer, you're not supposed to have, your preferred is to have zero is the target. And what we've got is three thousandths as a maximum. So what I ended up with is with five thousandths on the vehicle, and so I ordered another set of rotors, and I wanted to try and get it as close to zero as possible, or at least to three thousandths. So here's the new rotor. We've got, a, we've got uh, the, with the hub tightened down, we've got it clean and sanded behind there to make sure it's nice and clean. Then we put all the bolts on to hold the hub in place just like if a tire was on it. Then we set up a dial indicator which I'm gonna show you right now. And we're gonna check the lateral run out. So right there, we're on six. And so we're not supposed to have any more than three. So let's spin it around. And you can see now we're back to zero. And now we're back up to six again. And the way you can tell you have your indicator set up properly is that every time you spin it around, you get the same reading every time. So the first set of rotors that I got are actually a thousandth of an inch better than the second set of rotors that I got. So I'm not really sure why this issue is happening on this particular vehicle. But the brake rotor that we, that we took off has 5,000, so I'm going to put this back on. Right now, we don't have any brake shake or any problem. The manufacturer says they have a two-year warranty on the rotor. Um, like I said, I've had good success with the other rotors that I used um, on the Toyota and the other vehicle that I did. Uh, worked out great. There was two forerunners and... Um, I forget the other vehicle that I did, but here's how it looks on the vehicle after it's got several hundred miles on it. And they have a zinc coating on there so they're supposed to keep from rusting. And then I used a factory brake pad um, with these power slot rotors. So it's a good rotor. Um, I think that they're gonna work okay. I'm a little disappointed in this particular vehicle because according to the manufacturer, I wanted that uh, three thousandths of an inch or less. And so that's what we got right from Ford. And that's what it tells you to do that, you know, you ideally want zero and that's setting it up on the lathe with a dial indicator. So somewhere along the line, this didn't make the grade um, to where it was supposed to be. And uh, we put all new hardware on here then we took these guide pins out and we cleaned the hole inside the guide pin. And then we put new rubber here and we put a black synthetic brake grease just designed for this to move, make this move in and out freely. And, um, and then we used uh, the Ford brake pads on it, which I have right here. So all in all, the customer is happy with the job. Um, the vehicle is working okay. It'll probably work okay for a long time. Um, we do have a warranty if something else develops a shake at a later time. But I just want to give everyone some information out there. Before the job leaves your shop, it's a good idea to put a dial indicator on and look up the manufacturer's specifications and see what they tell you what it's supposed to be. So if we're allowed three thousandths or less, then we're, we're off by three thousandths. So what I did is I marked a little zero on the side over here. And then as I came around, 
it's about 180 degrees and then I got my six thousandths run out. So I'm going to send this back to the manufacturer. I'm going to return these rotors and uh, a lot of people I've talked about these kind of situations they don't even uh, know what I'm talking about doing this kind of testing. So I want to pass on this information to everybody and um, and thank you very much and have a wonderful day. If you would like more information you can go to johnsadlersautorepair.com. Bye.